Group turns, quarter turn, half turn, three quarters turn, and full turns. What is it? The change of position by moving left or right. Why? Make sure that you're following directions correctly. Interesting fact, bats are flying mammals. They have over a thousand species. So vocabulary that some that you may need to know, clockwise. The direction the hands move on a clock going to the right, anti-clockwise, the opposite of clockwise going to the left. So let's go ahead and take a look at this circle. I have divided it into four sections and since uh, it passes through the middle, there are four equal sections. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fraction. So we have right there, we have one fourth of the circle highlighted or one section or one fourth of or one quarter turn. So let's go ahead and add another section. So right now we have half of the circle or two sections. So right now we have three equal sections or three fourths of a circle. And then finally we have a full circle or four equal sections. So now let's go ahead and add the words anti-clockwise and clockwise to the circle just so that you can see what is happening. So once again, clockwise goes to the right, anti-clockwise goes to the left. So now let's go ahead and get started with a clockwise direction. And let's do a quarter uh, turn uh, in the clockwise direction. So right now we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move the spinner to the right and we're gonna keep moving it until we reach a quarter turn. So, or one, or one section of the circle. So right there, we have moved it to the one fourth section. So now let's go ahead and move the spinner back to the top so we can then do a half a turn. Now, some of you may already know where we're gonna end up. Take a guess and let's see where we're, uh, where we're gonna end up. So we're gonna go in the clockwise direction again. We're gonna pass the quarter set quarter turn there and we are going to get reach the half a turn right there in the clockwise direction. So now we're going to go ahead and move back to the to our uh, starting point at the zero and let's go ahead and move a three quarter turn in the clockwise direction and let's go ahead and start moving our spinner to the right. We passed a quarter turn, we passed a half turn and now we're gonna go ahead and reach the three quarters turn or three section or, or passing three sections. So now once again, let's go ahead and move to the top of the circle so that we can go ahead and move in the right direction and in, uh, in the right amount of sections. So we're at the starting point and it says, let's go a full turn in the clockwise direction. So now we, we need to decide if we're going left or right and once again, we're gonna to go to the right side and we're gonna go a full turn. So remember that is four sections. So you probably already know where we're gonna end up. We passed the quarter turn, we passed the half turn, we passed the th three quarters turn, and finally we reached a full turn. So now we're back to our original position, but that's okay because we, we answered the question, we went a full turn in the clockwise direction. Now let's go ahead and you may be wondering what happens if you put the fractions on the other side. Okay, you're still going to get, and if, so you're still going to have four equal sections. And as you can see on your screen, we highlighted one, one section that is still a, a fourth of the circle or one section. And if we keep going around the other way, we still have two sections or half of a circle. We add another section and, we, and now we have three fourths of a circle. Or th and then finally, we add another section and we have a full circle. So at this point, it really doesn't matter that wh where you uh, uh, put the fractions as long as you put them in order. So now let's go ahead and do an anti-clockwise uh, turn. And let's go ahead and get started with a quarter turn using uh, going in the anti-clockwise direction. So this time we know we're gonna go left. So we're gonna move the spinner to the left and we're gonna go ahead and, and stop at a quarter turn and we went in the anti-clockwise direction going to the left so now we've only went uh and, that's, and as you can see we only went one section of the circle and then now let's go ahead and go back to the starting position and we're going to go ahead and go a half a turn so and it says anti-clockwise so we go to the left so let's go to the left as you can see our spinner is moving passing a quarter turn and stopping at 
half a turn in the anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move uh, back to the original position so that we can uh, move in, in whatever direction it asks. So this one it says, let's read a three-quarter turn anti-clockwise. So once again, we go to the left um, and we need to go three quarters or three sections of the circle. So let's go ahead and move to the left. So as we're passing the quarter turn, we're passing the half turn and we're reaching the, th the three quarters turn and there we have it. So now we've reached the three quarters turn in the anti-clockwise direction and there we have it and we pass three sections of the circle. So now let's go ahead and move our spinner back to the top and let's read the question. It says a full turn anti-clockwise. So once again, we need to go to the left, okay? And so that we can follow the anti-clockwise directions. Now some of you may know where we're gonna end up, which is great. So let's go and figure it out. So we're gonna to go to the left, passing a quarter turn, passing a half turn, passing a three quarters turn. And finally we reach a full turn. So if you, um, and that is anti-clockwise and clockwise using a quarter turn, half turn, three, uh, three quarters turn, and a full turn. So thank you for listening and have a good day.